so for the listeners for uh, of the podcast, I'll just talk a little bit about uh, the instrument I'm playing. Uh, so Cora has 21 strings, and it's a diatonic. And uh, we have uh, on the on the bottom, so the closest to the person playing it, we have the the C, and then alternating. And then the three on the top on the right. So, uh, and we're, we're playing with our thumbs and our forefingers. And uh, basically the, the left hand thumb is usually playing the accompaniment. And that is kind of going all the time. And uh, also with the right thumb, which is, has like a little bit more liberty. And then you're playing the melody and improvising on top. So the song you just heard, obviously, the... So that's always going. And those are my, the thumbs that are playing that. Um, so when you're starting out to learn, I guess the difficulty is the melodies are quite simple in the in the, the traditional pieces. You can catch those fairly simply with your forefingers, but then integrating that with the thumbs that you know that are going all the time is a little bit more tricky. And then the next level is of course is improvisation, which has a huge role in in, in the tradition of, of core players. And that's uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit a little bit tricky. That takes a little bit <laughs> a little bit longer to learn. was studying to become uh, a doctor and I wasn't really wasn't really enjoying it I thought that's what I wanted to do um, and I was living in New York at the time and and I was kind of seeing the core everywhere and I thought <laughs> or maybe it wasn't everywhere my dad was asking me about this the other day I think it was just like I saw it twice and I was like this is a sign I need a lesson there was a, a concert at the Met Museum, and it was a player from Mali, Yakub Sisoko, and I went after him and I said, I, I, need, I need a lesson, and that was in 2013. Mm -hmm. And I remember the first time I held the Quora, it was in his apartment in Harlem, and after that, I, I was, I kind of knew right away, like, I needed, I needed to play this instrument. And I think it was, I think I probably needed to play music again because I had, I had I had you know I had decided not to play the violin or continue you know playing professionally um, and so I think this was this was my way back to music and I mean what a what a way back to music so the the fact that I had you know quite a solid foundation in in music and classical music um, well, it was it was kind of double edged sword. I thought that I would learn the chord very quickly. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, if you play the you know playing the violin, you 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 know you learn quite complicated pieces. You memorize it, you know. So so um, in comparison, the mundane melodies seem quite simple. Mm -hmm. But this is very deceiving, <laughs> of course, because you know to play any instrument well takes very long time and 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 the core you know is its is its own kind of you know beast or its own you know like every instrument has its own um you know kind of special system. challenges yeah yeah and i of course completely um underestimated how challenging it would be not only was I learning a new instrument, a new musical culture with completely different like idioms and you know everything, I was living in a completely different environment. So it was like it was like everything you knew. Okay, you kind of put that aside because it's not you know you can't you can't really use it here. And um, you know, in hindsight, it was. It was, an, you know, an, an incredible experience, and 
you know, which taught me so much. I thought I was going to learn about the core, but really it was, you know, really changed my life. And we had your demons to find you showed me that was earth for two.